a point charge 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 coulomb is moved from P to S in a uniform electric field of 30 Newton per coulomb directed along x axis. If coordinates of P and S are 1 to 0 and 0 0 0 meter respectively the work done by electric field is. Now uh, we know that the work done by electric field is given by two equation one is one equation that we know is V uh, is equals to W by Q. So W is equals to V into Q. We can use this equation or we can use another equation work is equals to force into displacement right or work is equals to F dot D. It's a dot product of force and displacement. So here force into displacement. Now we know that force is equals to Q into E then work done is equals to Q E dot R. So dot product of electric field and the displacement. Now the particle is displaced from point P to point S. So our initial position is P and final position is S. Okay. So the displacement is so final position minus initial position that is S minus P. So S is 0 comma 0 minus 1 comma 2 comma 0. So uh, here it is 0 comma 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 0 minus 2 is minus 2, 0 minus 0. So this is the displacement done. Okay. Now it is a dot product. Okay. So it is minus 1, minus 2 and 0. This is the displacement. Now this displacement has a dot product with electric field. Now electric field is only along x direction and it is given 9, uh, 30 Newton per Coulomb, right. So if I multiply this with, with 30 I cap, here it is I cap, here it is J cap and here it is K cap. So I cap into I cap is 1. So 30 into minus 1 is 30, right. But I cap into dot J cap is 0 and I cap dot K cap is 0. So other terms will disappear. So that's why I have only considered here minus I cap, okay. So here it is E I dot I cap because other terms will disappear. Okay, other vectors will disappear. So I dot I is 1. So it's a minus 1. So you minus Q into E. So Q is given here Q is 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 and electric field is given 30 Newton. So it is 16 to 10 raised to minus 2 Joule which is equals to minus 600 millijoule.